Hello everyone, thank you for returning to Tarot by Aubrey. Much love and light. Don't forget to meditate on your pile, pick an image or a number. And this is going to be a reading about what you need to do next. Keep in mind that this is a timeless reading, so whenever you do come across this, this is the perfect time for you to view it. All right, don't forget to share, hit that thumbs up, and subscribe. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, we will be doing a Amazon gift card giveaway. All right, we also have a new Facebook page, so don't forget to like and follow that. It is called Tarot by Aubrey. The details are in the description box below. I am still taking private readings. It is your own personal video with questions of your own and it taps into your own personal energy and information. We also do have an Amazon wish list. So for those of you who want to gift uh, oracle decks or tarot decks to this channel for more content, uh, you will be able to find that information in the description box below as well. Keep in mind that all readings are for entertainment purposes only. You are responsible for all life decisions. I am not qualified for medical, legal, or financial advice. So please take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? Go ahead and pick a pile. Timestamps will be below. And let's go ahead and get started, beautiful souls. Hello, pile number one. This is advice for what you should do next. All right, first card out, we have the three of swords. So I definitely feel like there is some heartbreak that uh, you have been feeling or um, some type of loss that you possibly just can't get over. This could be mentally uh, straining you. All right, we have the Eight of Swords as well, feeling very restricted mentally and physically. So I definitely feel um, this is what's causing this pain, all right? Not being able to move or see the beauty on the other side. I feel like what's next is you definitely need to lean up against one of these swords to break free, all right, um, you could be, like I said, feeling restricted a little bit. All right, we have the two of swords. So I definitely see lots of communication issues here. Um, not being able to communicate for some of you, you could even be locked up is what I'm hearing um, mentally. Um, but I definitely feel like not being able to make a choice is what I'm hearing as well. Um, feeling very confused, very conflicted with this heartbreak or this pain that you are uh, feeling. For some of you, you could be going through a very, very tough time in regards to what your heart is wanting. We have the Seven of Cups. I definitely feel like the next step for you is just having a clear vision of what you are wanting at this time. Making a decision as well, okay? We have the three of wands reversed, so I definitely feel that um, this is small thinking, Okay, not being able to see the bigger picture. There needs to be a clear vision, a commitment, okay? The next step is a commitment because I do see stagnant energy, um, stubborn energy as well. You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Earth sign, okay? Um, for some of you, you could even be jobless. So I definitely feel that there is a commitment here that needs to be... Um, done or a decision needs to be made you need to really like buckle down and make a choice especially when you are feeling confused feeling small-minded feeling restricted feeling this loss this pain this hurt let's go ahead and clarify why is the three of swords here 
for pile number one in regards to what to do next. Why is the three of swords here? Please clarify. All right, so yeah, there's a choice. I definitely feel like whatever broke your heart with the queen of swords and the ten of cups, there is going to be some type of emotional happiness, okay? I definitely feel... Um, like I said, just being direct, open, and honest with yourself, um, seeing the bigger picture, seeing the beauty on on the other side of the situation. Um, for some of you, this could even be, um, you know, transforming out of this heartbreak, out of this pain, out of this cold, icy um, way of speaking, a way of thinking, okay, and just being very direct with yourself and your own happiness and what you're wanting to find that emotional um, fulfillment within the home. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Please clarify the Eight of Swords for pile number one in regards to what to do next, okay? So I definitely feel like they want you to feel this happiness, this joy. They want you to stay determined, have that passion, that fire, that fuel to be able to break free out of this um, mental trap is what I'm hearing, okay? I definitely feel like you are divinely guided, all right? You are on fire. You're someone who is very independent, okay? I definitely feel that um, you need to tap within your sacral chakra as well. We have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck reverse. So I definitely feel like there is some stagnant energy when it comes to your, your passion and your desire and what you're wanting. Um, that's why you're feeling restricted within your mind. Why is the Two of Swords here reversed? Why is the Two of Swords here? All right, we have the Magician reversed. So yeah, lots of scattered energy that is keeping you restricted not being able to make a decision so what's next is unlocking that fire within you that passion that desire why is the seven of cups here reversed all right we have the ten of wands there we go the ten of wands feeling restricted feeling baggage okay um, feeling like you have to do everything by yourself and that's what's causing this chaos, all right? Um, I definitely feel like you are very independent. You have a lot going on for yourself, but the next step is staying committed to dropping those wands, okay? And, you know, taking it one step at a time, all right? Having a clear-cut vision to find that emotional happiness. Why is the three of... Wands here reverse for pile number one. All right, so these two came out. We have the Ace of Wands reverse and the Four of Cups. So I definitely feel <sighs> there is a lack of inspiration and you're feeling kind of dull and that's where this like small thinking and delay is coming from because you're so focused on the negative that it's time to focus on what spirit does have to offer you, okay? All right, and last but not least, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? So I definitely feel like you want to have emotional fulfillment and happiness with the Ten of Pentacles. There's definitely something new coming around, okay? I definitely feel stability within the home environment, within the family, okay? Maybe you could be feeling stuck in this area. Um, maybe this could be like what you're hoping for to be um, stable in all areas of your life or to, you know, gain some inheritance, uh, finances, okay, maybe even be stable with your, um, family environment, you know, that support, all right, but I definitely feel like somebody is not putting in the time or the energy or the effort and it's causing some chaotic energy around you or, 
It could just be like you not believing in yourself and that's what's causing this mental and physical restriction. So what's next is you definitely need to believe in your own power. Believe that you are very um, wise and independent. Believe that you are transforming into this happiness um, and definitely believing that um, there will be sunshine at the end of the tunnel okay feeling that um magic and flow within you and all around you okay to break free from this heartache to be able to move on and um stay committed as well stay committed to whatever it is that you are passionate about all right so those are the messages that i have for you today um, just watch your tone with people around you. Spread the love is also what I'm getting at. There is um, lots of things around you to be grateful for. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, I definitely see that um, you will have or you do have all the support that you need to be able to move forward. But this is you with the Four of Cups is just, you know, being focused on the negative and not seeing what spirit truly has to offer and that's what's keeping you from seeing your true blessings, all right? So um, spirit is saying cut that out, stay committed to you and your passions and desires. Um, you are being divinely guided. You are very protected as well, okay? For some of you, could even be related uh relating to a black cat be proud of all of your accomplishments all right everything that you have put your um self every everything that you have done um you are definitely the spotlight people do look up to you and i definitely feel that your spirit guides are saying just be proud of the next step and take baby steps all right Otherwise, if you put too much on you, it's going to turn into chaoticness and self-doubt and not believing in yourself and feeling like you don't have enough to provide, all right? So just keep being you, keep um, having that power within you, um, and that's ultimately what the next step is, is just continue to fuel your own fire with that courage and determination and that power within you all right pile number one remain to have faith much love and light check out our other videos and take care hello pile number two welcome into tarot by aubrey these are your messages for what do you need to do next all right first card out we have the Four of Swords. So I definitely feel like you are going through some type of anxiety. Sorry about the light here. Alright, so you're going through some type of anxiety. Maybe you could be feeling uh, restless or um, going through um, sleepless nights, maybe even nightmares, feeling like you're not protected or blessed when you're sleeping. Um, I'm not too sure what this is. We're going to clarify. Uh, let's see what else. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I definitely feel like you are growing out of this situation, okay? You're very independent, is what your spirit guides are saying. Um, continue to reap the rewards that uh, you are working so hard for. Observe the situation. Take things slow. Give yourself um, back that time and that energy when you are feeling uh, full with anxiety, okay? When you are feeling restless, when you are feeling tired, you need to spend more time to yourself. Maybe get out into nature, okay? Um, I definitely feel that, um, you know, do things that you love and you know love what you do spend more independent time you know doing things that you want to do instead of dish dishing out all of this energy okay we have the three of pentacles all right so this could have to do with the work environment um you know building a team communicating 
um, doing research, putting... Oh, we just got a subscriber, a Kalish. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Herman. <laughs> um, three of Pentacles. Um, so I definitely feel like please communicate a lot more. This will um, build up. They kind of threw me off guard. It, it will uh, chip away at... Um, it's going to take time to chip away at the work that needs to be done. So that's why they say that you're you're growing, okay? These, it's kind of like growing pains, okay? But I definitely feel like, you know, when you learn how to build that teamwork, when you learn how to communicate, you will be able to, um, you know, chip away at it in a fun loving way okay we have the knight of swords so i definitely feel like there is a lifestyle change in regards to the way that you're thinking okay uh cutting out people who bring you anxiety who um, cause restlessness who you feel like you're not protected with okay um Definitely put in that research, put in that time, put in that energy to yourself to investigate who is making you feel this way. And definitely like cutting out those energies, those negative thoughts um, that are causing this restlessness as well. All right, um, let's see here. We have the strength reversed. You could be dealing with a Leo energy. All right, I definitely feel that um, you could be feeling weak within your own energy as well. So they want you to know that the next step is you are going to be growing out of this. Um, continue to observe your um, energy when you are feeling like that, especially when you're feeling um, low self-esteem as well. And then we have the page of wands all right so i definitely feel like putting in that teamwork putting in that communication or even research um to be able to discover things that you like to do and going solo on a mission but also know when to ask for help is also um the next step to this journey and just staying active maybe with work or your home or just like chipping away at it it's going to take time but when you learn to discover things about yourself uh, things that you like things that you want to go towards um you know planting that seed and watching it grow and staying patient with it okay um why is the four of swords here reverse please Four of Swords for pile number two in regards to what to do next. Please clarify the Four of Swords. So we have the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, look, there's messages coming in to show that gratitude, that attitude of gratitude, okay? Getting out into nature, I definitely feel like um, there could be messages um, popping up um something that you can physically touch okay there could be a side gig coming in i definitely feel help is coming in um next okay you could be finding you know a, a coin of something that will allow you to flourish something that will allow you to become independent all right we have the seven of wands. So letting your guard down, okay, not feeling like you can let your guard down to be your true authentic self so that you can receive the blessings that are coming to you. I definitely feel like this could be a new job, a new home, but just definitely expressing your gratitude um, to the spiritual realm for the many blessings that you are receiving, all right, and not getting all worked up within the mind that is causing restlessness. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Please clarify the Nine of Pentacles for pile number two in regards to what to do next. 
we have the death card reverse so i definitely feel like there is a spiritual awakening here there's things that need to let that you need to let go of there's layers that you need to let go of and i ultimately feel like it is this low self-esteem it's this weakness um maybe it could be a part of like your inner child um feeling weak okay um, that I feel is like you need to discover the light at the end of the tunnel, but I definitely feel like it is a process that it's a spiritual awakening. Sometimes, um, when you're going through this process and building that fruit of labor, you know, you know, uh, patiently waiting for things to come to you, um, you know, showing that gratitude, um, when, when you do receive it, okay? And also spending that alone time to do that work, to do that shadow work so that you can let go of old energies, um, so that you can transform into this new person that is just very abundant, very bright, um, you know, seeing the situation for what it truly is and just spending more time to yourself to... Um, do what you love, okay, and really blossom. Why is the three of pentacles here for what the next step is? I definitely feel like, you know, continue to take more action. Continue to stay on course. We have the ace of cups reversed. So I definitely feel like there has been um, depression and um, feeling let down emotionally. And that's where, you know, that teamwork comes in, that communication. When you are feeling like that, communicate with your spirit guides. Communicate on with other people, especially in the, in the workforce. When you need help, reach out, okay? We have the justice upright. So I definitely feel like justice is going to be served in regards to any... Um, emotional stress that you have been going through, feeling let down. Um, there will be a balance, okay? I definitely feel like there is going to be fairness in the situation, okay? Um, really balance out your energies, especially when you are feeling like that. And when you are feeling like that, it's time to communicate and express it. And um, that's when you're going to see these blessings. That's when you're going to, you know, transform. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Please clarify. For pile number two, why is the Knight of Swords here? All right, so we have the Emperor reversed for you. So I definitely feel like um, there is going to be a lifestyle change up next in regards to any nasty egos that you have had to deal with. That's karma is going to play itself out. The spiritual realms are here. Just continue um, showing gratitude for um, the messages that you are rece receiving at this time. Okay. Um, the finances that you are receiving out of this, okay? Be patient with the Page of Wands because I do see messengers coming in, people coming in to help you, two people um, in specific, okay? But I definitely feel like there is a lifestyle change in regards to a masculine energy or someone that thought that they had power over you or were just controlling you, causing this um, low... Uh, self-esteem or lack of confidence within you okay yeah it's definitely going to be balanced out with this two of pentacles why is the strength card here reversed please for pile number two why is the strength card here reversed so i definitely feel like you know you are awakening to your own independence your own light we have the king of wands reversed we have the Six of Swords reversed, and we have the Nine of Wands reversed. So I definitely feel like whenever you feel um, lack of determination, oh, and we have Ten of Swords hiding in the background. So there is definitely going to be an ending and new beginning, okay? I see that you have been at rock bottom for quite some time now, mentally and physically, um, they do want to remind you that everything is going to be fine. There's no need to worry. Continue to have faith, especially when you are feeling mentally stuck. 
and um, feeling like you're not able to find that fuel or that passion or determination to keep going and that's what's causing this weakness. Keep having faith. Um, keep discovering new things about yourself. Keep making these lifestyle changes. Um, keep moving forward. Keep shedding off this negative energy. They say everything's going to be fine. There's going to be liberation in this situation. You are going to break free from these chains. Why, why is the page of wands here? Please, last but not least, page of wands for pile number two. What's next? Liberation, freedom, moving forward, breaking those chains, breaking those cycles. Karma is coming in. Justice is being served, okay? Nostalgia, blessings are coming in. You will find a boost of inspiration when it comes to your emotional um, self, that childhood, um, that when you see yourself as a child, okay? But I definitely feel like what's next is being liberated and free to be your true self, to discover things about yourself, to work as a team, to transform into this independent person that you truly are and showing gratitude to the universe for the many blessings, for the justice that has been served, for the kindness um, that you are receiving in regards to help that is coming in, all right? So just continue to um, have faith in the situation, continue to do your shadow work, continue to break those chains and be free and liberated from this um, weakness or whatever it is uh, situation that you got going on right now. Much love and light. Don't forget to check out other videos on this channel. Take care, everybody. Hello, pile number three. These are the messages for what to do next or what you need to do. Okay, first card out, we have temperance, upright. So connecting your mind, body, and soul, balancing out your emotions, taking baby steps, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. This is your crown, okay? Continuing on that path. Um, you know, not diving deep into things, but, you know, taking things in moderation, all right? Know that you are divinely guided um, and balancing out the situation, okay? So, Staying elevated as well with your emotions and balancing uh, your emotions, okay? We have the Eight of Swords, or I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords. So I definitely feel like there is a release and tension within the mind. Um, dropping those negative thoughts, those illusions, those false stories, okay? Um, and really balancing out your energy is what I'm hearing. We have the moon, okay? So the moon, the moon cycle might play in with your emotions, all right? And I definitely feel like by the next full moon, uh, which is October 20th by the time that I am recording this video. So October 20th, I definitely feel that um, there is going to be a release of tension, okay? I definitely feel like you are um, frustrated maybe with spirit or there's just a lot of illusions and distractions that are keeping you from your path. Your spirit guides are saying keep on your journey. Keep on going. Don't let these snakes in the water distract you from your mission, okay? Drop that negative mindset. Continue to put in the work all right, you could be dealing with a Pisces energy here. Um, definitely um, purging out those negative emotions as well, not diving deep into the chaos, the illusions, okay? We have uh, the lover's card, so definitely picking up on Gemini energy as well. Um, so balancing out your energies when it comes to poor choices, uh, temptations, 
karmic cycles, all right, um, karmic energies, maybe even a divorce that you're going through, a lover, a soul contract, um, someone in the past that, uh, you know, maybe even just uh, not being able to feel the love um, from spirit or feeling the love around you, feeling alone, okay? So I definitely feel like the next step is to clear out these illusions, take baby steps, um, connect with your mind, body, and spirit to restore your faith is also what I'm hearing. Yeah, and moving towards calmer waters with the six of swords, okay? Balancing out your uh, mental, okay? Uh, moving towards um, towards safer times, okay, maybe even relocating, moving away from people that cause distractions, frustrations, okay, illusions. There could be two people involved in this situation, okay, we have the Ace of Cups moving towards happiness, wish fulfillment, new beginnings, all right, so definitely feeling that love within you, blessings on top of blessings, feeling like your cup is feeling restored, rejuvenated, okay, cleansing out those energies, maybe having a deep cry, a soul cry is also what I'm hearing so that you can move forward from this energy. Why is the temperance here for pile number three? We have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like there is a lot of lies, deceit, trickery, um, maybe even staying focused on the past, all right, which is causing this deceit. Uh, this could also be someone from your past, maybe an ex um, or someone that uh, really like broke your heart is also what I'm hearing that maybe lied to you, cheated, stole from you. Uh, maybe you could be looking back on that, but if you're not careful, you're going to trip and fall. So that's why mentally you need to clear out those emotions to restore and um, clear out those negative uh, mindset about it because we do have you reminiscing about the past a lot okay so really connecting your mind body and spirit to really balance out your emotions to see the new beginnings to move towards emotional happiness and restoring that energy and just being happy with what spirit is offering you this there is a blessing in disguise here that's being hidden from you okay uh why is the swords here please for pile number three yeah we have strength so giving yourself that unconditional love uh that just being strong, you could be dealing with the Leo energy, okay, um, being gentle and kind to yourself, the words that you are saying to yourself, the mental thoughts that you are thinking, okay, what you give out is what you are going to get back in return, okay, and having the courage also to walk away from any emotional baggage, which is this lies and deceit, all right, um, it has been an emotional roller coaster. I can see the frustration here, but what's next is moving towards that balance here. Why is the moon here, please? Why is the moon? Ooh, three of them. Four. Okay, so I have temperance, so chaotic energy right here. Um, and it came up in reversed like this. Okay, so it came up in reverse. So chaotic energy, manipulation, um, emotional stress, that's what the moon is. Lots of chaos in the past are causing this distraction, okay? Um, feeling like the waters are just so high that you're unable to um, balance it out, okay? We have um, self-doubt here. We have um, just tons of chaos within the mind within the emotions within your intuition as well okay maybe not being able to um follow your intuition okay not being able to take care of your needs i definitely see there is a balance coming through for you with the justice card here so i definitely feel that your spirit guides are saying 
even though it feels like a distraction, even though you feel like things are being hidden from you, um, there is definitely some shadow work that needs to be done to balance out your energies, to ha to see the truth for what it really is, to find that courage to clear out any emotional stress manipulation that you have gone through, maybe with an ex-lover or um, someone from your past that caused these lies and deceit to cause you to feel like you weren't able to take care of yourself. Just a lot of chaos around you, okay? Um, yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like um, there is going to be more stable times, okay? Um, I definitely feel like there's something that you're hanging on to. Um, that needs to be let go and that's what's causing this frustration, okay? But I definitely see that once you let it go, um, there will be long-term stability. Maybe some of you need to save your money or your resources or someone stole money and resources so that's going to be returned back to you, okay? Karmic cycles. So I definitely feel like, yeah, these karmic cycles... Um, there, there's going to be justice for it. Whatever repeating patterns or repeating thoughts, okay, it's definitely going to be restored. Hang in there, okay? The next step is just continuing to be kind to yourself, be gentle, okay? Especially with your thoughts and your words, all right? Especially when you're at a low vibration. Why is the lover's card here, please? Reverse for pile number three. Lover's card reverse for pile number three. All right, so we have the hermit. So I definitely feel like this person made you feel alone, isolated, um, left ghosted, okay, out in the cold, out in the dark. Okay, we have the number five, which is like, yeah, really stole your energy, stole your shine. That's why you're feeling like so down in the dumps. But I definitely feel that, look, what's next is the Three of Cups. We have celebration. We have uplifting your spirit. Justice is definitely going to be served here. Continue to be strong. We definitely see you moving towards the Ace of Cups, which is blessings on top of blessings. Something new is coming in. Why is the Six of swords here yeah following your intuition following your voice you are very strong very intuitive okay whatever has been stolen from you i definitely see you getting it back okay um just because of who you are for some of you could even be a spiritual leader triple goddess okay um yeah, business woman or man, okay, very strong minded, okay, so I definitely feel like what's next is just continuing to follow your voice, continue to follow your soul, what is your intuition telling you, okay, that's going to bring uh, you to calmer waters, okay, I definitely feel like you are being divinely guided towards um, relocating, being guided towards um, safer, calmer times, and it's going to be a blessing in disguise. I do feel like there are going to be new opportunities ahead. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed here, yeah, you definitely had finances stolen from you. You could have um, been move. You're moving away from any broken environment, instability within the home, within a job. Okay, um, I definitely feel like for some of you could even be a business owner, but I definitely feel like you are moving towards, you know, letting down your guard and being your true authentic self. What is the Ace of Cups, please, for what's next? Ten of Cups, right? So what's next is these new blessings that are coming in. It will definitely be so fulfilling for you. Um, I definitely feel like you are going to... Um, reap all of this like emotional happiness okay feeling fulfilled um within your family within your environment okay no longer feeling restricted here no no longer feeling mentally and physically restricted why else is the ace of cups here please clarify all right 
So yeah, moving away from this imbalance of emotions, okay, separating yourself, all right, this could be um, news coming in, maybe a phone call, okay, you could be receiving news through a text message, all right, um, I definitely feel that whatever news is coming in, um, go with the flow of the conversation, okay? Maybe it could be um, a contract that you're having to sign. Um, just go with the flow of it because it is going to bring emotional happiness, okay? Really balance out your energies. Justice is being served for whatever has been done to you. Um, One-sided conversations, um, feeling depleted of your own energy, being taken advantage of, okay, just continue to be your true self. I definitely feel like you need to uplift your spirits, okay, remain strong, give yourself that unconditional love, and follow your intuition. If you feel like something is energetically off or you're feeling like you're being taken advantage of, follow that. Um, if you feel that people are gossiping about you, you know, move away from that. Separate yourself um, because that's ultimately what's going to move you away from this low vibrational energy and to continue to feel the magic flow through you and within you, okay? So those are the messages that I have for you today. Don't forget to check out our other pick a card readings and monthly astrology uh, readings for the month. All right. Much love and light. Take care, everyone.